y'all. Happy Thursday. It is August 1st. It is a very exciting month because I get to see my college best friends this month. I'm actually going to go back to Orlando because my sorority is having like an alum mock recruitment. If you guys aren't in a sorority or like don't know what that means because not every sorority has it. Um, basically like the sisters in the chapter practice recruiting the alum. So it's kind of fun, you just get to see everyone again and reunite with your alum besties. Um, and obviously it's my first year going as an alum, so it shall be interesting. <laughs> but I'm very excited because there's just so many things I miss about Orlando that I definitely wanna do in that weekend. Um, and I also have a situation that I need to take care of. Basically, I started Invisalign or Clear Correct or whatever, like the off-brand of Invisalign. Um, it's just probably easier for me to say Invisalign because everyone knows it by that. It's kind of like the brand name like Band-Aid. Even if it's off-brand, you still call it Band-Aid, you know? So I actually started it, I think in February or somewhere around that time, maybe March, I'm not really sure. And I didn't really think about the fact that I was moving after college and I did it my senior year. I started my senior year. I'm still in the middle of um, my retainers and I have to go back and get the new attachments because they had to do like a whole checkup on me and they didn't even like order the trays because they like had to see how it was going and then they could order the trays so it was so annoying because like they could only do it once I was done with like number 10 tray and I was only done with number 10 tray like literally the week before I left so anyways it was just a mess and honestly still is but honestly it's fine because it gives me the excuse to go back to Orlando and visit all my friends um, and my three best friends from college are all still in Florida one's in Orlando one's in Jacksonville and one's in Fort Lauderdale Miami area so I'm the only one in Texas <laughs> but hopefully they can visit me soon it's currently 8 48 and I am supposed to leave at 9 for Orange Theory um, I go to the South Lamar location which is 15 minutes away, sometimes 18, sometimes 19. It really depends like what the traffic looks like, um, which kind of sucks because if you guys watch my video, I actually just posted it this week, but I filmed it, I think three weeks ago. I was just kind of like iffy on whether to post it or not. And I ended up posting it. And honestly, I'm so freaking thankful that I posted it because, and I'll have the link down below or up here or whatever. Um, I was just talking about how I really feel about my body image issues and I have gotten so many comments and so many people reaching out to me saying that like they feel the same way and it's just insane to think that like the girls that I think are so stunning on Instagram and like have like really great bodies on Instagram like they messaged me and they said that they were going through the same thing and I was like what i feel like this was definitely a big lesson learned that everyone has their own insecurities you may not see them but you know they do and that goes for me too you guys may see me on instagram and be like oh my god this picture is perfect but then i go and criticize myself for like that little like arm fat or like anything like that i guess everyone's just different and they think they're different thoughts about themselves and I mainly made that video to not get pity from y'all like honestly I really just felt so bad when people are like oh my god that video made me like so sad for you and I'm like I didn't want you to be sad for me like I really didn't I want you to motivate me I want y'all to keep me accountable I wanted to put it out on the internet because I don't want to fail this time and I feel like every other time I would kind of keep it to myself I would just like go to the gym in the morning and like maybe be in a phase for like one to two weeks, but I wouldn't really like tell anyone or I wouldn't tell you guys because maybe I knew I was gonna fail, maybe I knew I was gonna stop, so I didn't wanna like put it out there because I would be embarrassed if I did stop, but that's why I made the video because I don't wanna stop this time and I like, I want that motivation. And honestly, all these messages have given me more motivation than ever because I am doing four Orange Theory classes this week and it's all thanks to you guys. And I'm just really excited about this health journey and fitness journey and I want to look my best and I don't know, I'm excited. A lot of you said you want more videos on my health journey and fitness journey, but I don't think I can take my camera into Orange Theory obviously because it's like a group class. So that's going to be kind of tough to show you like what I do in Orange Theory, um, but 
I can definitely talk about it afterwards and tell you guys tips and tricks not that I really have that many because I'm like starting out um about my like health journey but one thing I did want to tell you guys is that I've been doing intermittent fasting for two days now and I've dropped three pounds I think and those were literally the pounds that I was like beating myself up about over the past week it was it's just crazy to think that like it can just work that fast and obviously that's maybe not like a sustainable way and before I get into like my health journey and stuff please do not hate on me I'm like just starting off there's a difference between telling me something like in a nice way or shaming me for the way I do things like I want to experiment for myself if I want to do keto I'm gonna do keto and I have done keto I actually like keto but I don't think it's gonna be happening this time but anyways I don't want people to shame me because I want to find out things for myself, but also like obviously give me your advice. So yeah, intermittent fasting. Um, my dad has been talking to me about it. Like every time he calls me on the phone, he's like, Sonali, you have to try it. Like I have been dropping weight like that. And I was like, interesting. I mean, like it's hard because I eat right at five. Like right when Ryan gets home, I have dinner ready. We eat. Then I put in my retainer at like six-ish. So then I don't eat until, well, yesterday I didn't eat till 12. Today I'm going to get out of Orange Theory at like um, 10 or 11. I don't even know. Um, so I might eat then, but I might also eat at 12. So I'm not really sure um, what it's going to look like every day. But I think it's like you have to fast for like 12 hours, if I'm not mistaken. And I already hit 12 hours because it's 8.54. So 12 hours would have been 6 a.m. It honestly makes me feel good about myself because first of all, I'm not eating sugar and I'm not eating dessert and I'm not snacking after dinner so obviously I'm gonna drop weight because you know I do that sometimes. I think this class will be my eighth class if I'm not mistaken. I've honestly been seeing a little progress here and there. I mean obviously I just feel better about myself and my arms look a lot thinner like I feel like they used to look really really chunky um but yeah so I'm seeing like a little bit of progress not too much but I am taking progress photos so that definitely gives me a little bit of hope here and there and I know a lot of you guys have said like you shouldn't like look at the weight and look at the numbers but it's hard y'all I'm gonna look at the numbers because I'm interested I want to know I know numbers not everything and it's definitely about how you feel and I'm already feeling a lot better than I was that day I filmed that video I remember feeling like such shit <laughs> I just feel like I was just sitting on the couch doing nothing and just felt my tummy rolls and like I just did not feel good about myself. Honestly like 50% better than I was that day. I'm just not looking forward to the weekend though because that's when we eat out and I don't want to like not eat out you know. That's like my favorite part about the weekends. I literally asked Ryan like in the middle of the week I'm like Ryan where do you like want to try this weekend because we're living in Austin now we are in a new city so it's really hard for me to like not want to eat at so many cool new restaurants you know but anyways this was a very very long intro i'm gonna go ahead and go to orange theory um hopefully it won't kill me today because i did go yesterday and every other time i've went there has been at least one rest day between each class but i've been feeling better like the first couple of times i felt really sore but now when i take a class one day and the next day i have a rest day i feel kind of shitty again i'm like damn like i'm not really doing anything and I could have gone and I don't feel that sore and I could have gone so I'm gonna turn that could have into I'm going and we're gonna see what three back-to-back -back days looks like for me hopefully it's not horrible and also um, I posted on my Instagram story that I have really bad shin splints um, and I realized that everyone else has them too well not everyone but like a lot of people and I honestly thought that was like an old people thing where you get shin splints and I was like what is wrong with me why do I have like old people knees and shins but apparently it's a thing um and i bought these uh knee strap things to put on my shins ryan said that it could help so i'm gonna try them out today because i forgot them yesterday and i was so pissed because i was like excited to try them out um but yesterday it wasn't even that long of like intervals on the treadmill which was great because i only get them when i run for like a really long period of time and usually I'm like a power walker, not like a jogger or runner. But like sometimes like if I want to like get my heart rate up, like I'll run for a little bit, you know. But anyways, I don't know if this stuff is like going to bore you guys. Because before this, like when I wasn't into any health kind of thing, I saw a bunch of YouTubers starting to like do these like videos. Like what I eat in a day or 
like my workout routine and I never clicked on those videos because I didn't give a shit like I didn't like those videos I wasn't interested in that stuff um and obviously like not all my content is going to be like about this because I don't want it to be I don't know just let me know if you guys like want to hear more about my journey and stuff or honestly comment down below what y'all want to like see on my vlogs because now that I'm in a new city I just have so much to work with that I don't know if you guys want to see beauty or like fashion or just vlogs like obviously I know you guys like my vlogs more than anything but um maybe some things I can like incorporate in my vlogs let me know but I'll talk to you guys later after Orange Theory. So I just got done with my Orange Theory class and I died. I feel like that was definitely a hard class. It was like Everest, like partner Everest. I don't know what that meant, but <laughs> it was a lot of like inclines. So I think the shin straps did help because obviously if it was not on an incline, my shin splints would have hurt a lot more, but I also tend to hurt when I run or walk for more than like two to three minutes. And I was only on the treadmill for two to three minutes. So I feel like I couldn't tell that much because I just, this was like a different workout. Um, the ones that it really tends to hurt is when I'm on the treadmill for like 20 minutes and then you switch to the row for the other class. That's when it really, really hurts. But I think that it helped. So I don't know. I'm interested to try it again on a different class and I'm gonna go tomorrow, so I'm gonna go three days in a row. Uh, I don't know what's gotten into me, but God bless. Finally glad it's happening. All right, so it's 11, I'm showered, and I did my workout, feeling good, but I always get super tired and very, very sleepy after I do a morning workout. Like, I am still unemployed. <laughs> pray for me I get a job very very soon even though I have like YouTube and I always have stuff to do I kind of have a feeling where I'm just like mm, a nap would be really great right now but then I also feel really guilty about it because I feel like I should be working because everyone else is working so actually in 10 minutes I'm about to meet up with this girl because I'm selling my last Canon lens and this is very bittersweet for me because obviously it's like my last piece of like my baby literally i've had that camera since i was in seventh grade i would say so i think that was eight years nine years or something which is insane and like i started my photography career with that camera canon 70d and i invested in all these lenses over the years and who would have thunk that i would switch to sony and get all new sony lenses so um, I'm kind of trying to sell all of my Canon lenses because I want to buy Sony lenses so that it's native to my camera and it works better. Because um, I did try an adapter and that shit didn't work. So I'm going to meet up with this girl. Um, hopefully it goes well. She's driving all the way from San Antonio so I'm guessing she's like actually going to buy it. Um, but I did have to like lower my price a little bit but it's still $10 more than what I bought it on eBay for so at least I made a little bit of profit I guess but um there is also a new lens from Sigma that's coming out that I really really want for my Sony so again just trying to get more money so I can invest back into my business after that I'm gonna eat something and then I'm actually gonna go to the domain with Taylor at one um and she said I don't I forgot what she has to do there return something maybe I don't know <laughs> but I'm um, kind of just going for the ride because Again, I don't want to be home and like feel sleepy, so I'd rather get out, do something. So I went to Orange Theory yesterday, didn't wash my hair. Today, didn't wash my hair. And then tomorrow after my Orange Theory class, I'm going to wash my hair. So I'm going to see how long I can go with like sweating through my hair and like all that. I, this might sound really gross, but I don't really have much that I'm doing. Like I don't really see people, so maybe like when I start working, I'll probably have to wash my hair because like I can't really just wear a bun to work. I mean, maybe. But, um... I want to see how long I can go because that's like a big factor of like why I hate working out. Like I just don't like washing my hair because I don't know. I just feel like it's just so time consuming. But tomorrow I'm going to treat myself with a Briogeo conditioning mask after my Orange Theory class, I think. 
Oh wait, just kidding. Tomorrow I'm going to go paddle boarding again on Lady Bird Lake. So after that, I'm going to treat myself with a Briogeo mask. I sold my lens and I profited a whole 10 bucks off of it, but I am eating breakfast right now. It's currently 1131 and this is my first meal of the day. Um, like I said, I wanted to do intermittent fasting and I stopped eating at like 6 p.m. yesterday. So that was a pretty long freaking time. This is what I have for breakfast literally almost every day. Um, it's two eggs and a whole avocado. I love to put crushed red pepper all over my avocado. Then I have some garlic salt over here, which I put on both. And then this Cholula sauce goes on my eggs. And I also forgot that I do put lime on my avocado and that is the best freaking part. I'm putting a little makeup on just because why not? Like I'm going out, I'm vlogging today. I don't usually wear makeup, but why the heck not? <laughs> but I am dressing super duper comfy. I have like this American Eagle shirt, like super soft, the line of super soft, I think. Um, sports bra, leggings, Birkenstocks, like very chill vibe, hair up in a bun. Um, and Taylor's gonna pick me up so we can head to the domain. I think the domain is like 30-ish or even 40. I don't, maybe not 40, but definitely 30 minutes away from my place. So it's a bit of a drive compared to like everything else in Austin. I feel like I'm always only 15 minutes away from things. Like no matter how far it is, it's so random, but like, thank God, because <laughs> I really thought I would be driving like a lot more. Like, so we just got to the domain and we're gonna shop around a little bit. Taylor has to get her ring cleaned at David Yerman. Bougie bitch. Yes, bougie. <laughs> just dreaming about all the Madewell jewelry I'm gonna get once I get a job. <laughs> Alright, another thing I'm gonna buy when I get a job. These sandals. Wait, these are kind of cute. These ones. Look at these. No, I love those and they had them in black. Yeah, I like the black one too. I just bought these on sale. Back from the domain. It was a quick trip, but I got some pants from Forever 21. And I honestly just love loungewear and just, especially pants that are really soft and just comfy. So I got these. They're kind of like joggers, I guess, but they're more like athletic y joggers. Um, I don't know if you guys can even tell, but oh, they just make me want to take a nap. And honestly, what time is it? It's 3.06. I should probably not take a nap because um, me and Ryan are going to see a movie at 6, I think. Um, so we have to eat right when he gets home and leave for the movie. We're going to see Once Upon a Time. That movie's with Margot Robbie, Leonardo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt and other people, but I'm mainly going for Margot Robbie because she's a queen. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that should be fun. Hopefully I don't get too hungry after dinner. Um, I think we're gonna try to have salads tonight. Hopefully that will be filling because I feel like every time when I'm in the movie theater, like I always wanna be munching on something. Right now I'm like really obsessed with macadamia nuts. Like it's something so random, but I think it was at my family reunion and they just had like a bowl of nuts on the table. I tried a macadamia nut and it was just so good. So I got a whole bag of them on Amazon and now I just like keep them in my purse like a little baggie in case I get hungry. So I feel like with working out and stuff, I definitely get a lot sleepier. I get kind of less motivated throughout the day, especially if, you know, I'm working out in the mornings. So I need to figure out a way to get better at that. Um, but I'm trying not to drink coffee because I don't want to be dependent on it. So if you guys have any advice to like get me going throughout the day, please comment that down below because I need advice for that. I always feel bad leaving Sophie home alone because <laughs> like I just look at her and she looks at me and it's just very sad when I like shut the door, but I'm home now, so it's fine. But I always feel so bad. I might make a smoothie for myself because... My bananas are going bad and I also remembered that I think I bought mango chunks and a banana mango smoothie sounds pretty dang good.
Ryan just got home and it's salad night. I have my sweeter salad. Ryan didn't have like a sweet salad, but I like my salads to be sweet and this fills me up. So hopefully I can stop eating right after this um, because I want to do some fasting again because I think it's, you know, working out really well. So I'm going to eat this, throw Sophie the ball, and we're going to head to the movie soon. So I'm a really big Pulp Fiction fan. So I'm really hoping that this lives up to the hype. Pulp Fiction is Quentin Tarantino's really famous movie. He also made Kill Bill's. The Kill Bill trilogy. Saga, whatever it is. <laughs> Kill Bill's the yellow jumpsuit with the sword. But, uh, well, you should probably stay home then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna go into this movie. Hopefully it's good. Any movie with Margot Robbie is probably good, uh -huh. so. Oh, really? <laughs>